Hello Honeyans! Cursor bee honey aren't necessarily rare, but they're a little annoying to farm. They're scattered all over Hyrule and there isn't a great place to find a few at once. They also have their uses, so let's learn exactly what they're used for and where to find them. If you don't know me, I'm Nico and I like finding everything possible in Zelda games. If you need help finding or doing anything in Zelda games, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. The main reason you may be needing Cursor Bee Honey is to upgrade links of the wild gear. Each piece needs 5 Cursor Bee Honey for their second upgrades. That's a total of 15 Cursor Bee Honey. You also need 1 Cursor Bee Honey for a small side quest in Kakariko Village. Coco has a few side quests where she asks you for a specific material. The fourth item that she asks for is a Cursor Bee Honey, of course. Give one to her and you'll get a dish and side quest complete. For cooking them, each one cooked adds 2 hearts and 40% of stamina to a dish. If you need help cooking anything, I have a video explaining all the best dishes for all types of modifications you may need. Check the card in the corner or the link in the description. For finding Cursor Bee Honey, they're scattered all over and if there are any in the same place, there's only a few. First, random fact, Honey Vore Bears drop 2 to 3 items and those items have a 10% chance to be a Cursor Bee Honey. Not useful since there's only 4 bears in Hyrule. For locations, you can check the object map I use, link in the description. First, let's talk about 5 places that have only 1 Cursor Bee Honey, but they're still worth going to because of the materials those locations have, especially if you're a collector like I am. Torn Plains has one, but they also have 2 Guardians, Big Hardy Truffles, Amaranth, and Radishes. The forest south of the Wetland Stable has 1 Cursor Bee Honey, and it's a great place to get big and regular hardy radishes. Just northwest is the Apulin Forest. Of course, there's a Cursor Bee Honey, and there's lots of apples and a Hinox. The Thunder Plateau area has a lot. One Cursor Bee Honey, and many things like Swift Violets, Butterflies, Darners, Octorox, and much more. And the fifth single Cursor Bee Honey location is south of the Rito Village. I go here to farm the Hinox, but also some frogs and tabantha wheat. Next, Satori Mountain. There's two by Rutai Lake and three south of that. And of course, there's so many things to farm on Satori. And my favorite place would be at East Nekluda. There's three Hinoxes, and this is the best place to farm some beetles and lizards. And there are a total of 6 Cursor Bee Honey very close to one another. I always go here. Just so you know, materials don't respawn under a Blood Moon. They actually have a 1% chance to respawn every minute. So come back to these locations when you can. If you like random facts like this, you can check out my video with 145 awesome tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe for more Zelda content, and I'll see you next time!